Welcome back everybody. In this video, I'm going to show you how we tinted oak to look like walnut. I had a unique project come through the doors where it was a set of oak bar stools that they wanted to color match the cabinets they were having installed in their basement. Um, obviously my first response was, let's make them out of walnut, but we were on a budget, so this is how we kind of achieved that. Using two simple products um, and a little elbow grease. So the first thing we did to achieve this was use Rust-Oleum's uh, protective enamel, the color was leather brown, and we took a two inch sponge brush and we'll apply that to each individual panel and what I mean by that is each individual piece that was glued together so I'll do this little small piece first before I move on to the underside of the armrest and then eventually to the top side of the armrest uh, we want to kind of go in small uh, quadrants or sections and then wipe all that off because we don't want the paint soaking into the wood too far and in order to kind of control that and when you won't have any kind of splotchiness or, or blemish marks is if you do like like this you'll do a side wipe it off do the inside wipe it off do the top then wipe it off instead of trying to do everything all at once it just makes it a lot easier and a nicer finished product at the end if you're finding this useful so far comment below what project you're going to use this on. Is it going to be something as small as bar stools or are you going to try this on a bigger scale like I don't know like a TV cabinet or a, a shifa robe or something. So after I got all the pieces painted and wiped off and double checking to make sure I didn't have any finger marks or miss spots um, I had a kind of a light brown color and as you can see it's just a little bit lighter than the cabinets that you know we're trying to match so from here we'll move on to the next step which was a staining process um, and with that we used uh, general finishes was the brand the color is provincial um, and we kind of repeat the same process that we did with the stain you know wipe it off um, with a two inch brush going panel by panel then wiping it off with a with a clean paper towel really take your time and make sure that you, you know, wipe off any finger marks and and smooth out any kind of blotchiness that you might you might have now when I when I did this on some test pieces um, I was thinking you know I used an oil based paint now I'm using a water based stain now most of you know through any basic science class oil and water doesn't mix and as you can see you know I had a little bit of outgassing or fish eyeing or something a little bit of bubbling but I just wiped it down with the paper towel and it really didn't it really didn't affect the wood too much you know I was I was really kind of worried about that especially when we go to the final step of uh, whatever you end up using as a as a finish but uh, it, it didn't it didn't affect it now I did let it sit for a day before applying the finish letting it sit for a full 24 hours to kind of let it I don't know quote unquote cure but uh, after doing that you know it it came out looking looking pretty good now you, you still want to make sure you take your time and you might have to apply a couple different coats to get to the the color of walnut that you're trying to match um, knowing that once you go back over with your with your finish it will kind of lighten it up a little bit if you did um, a little bit too much you know you're a little bit on the darker side just go ahead and buff the wood with a you know a clean rag or clean paper towels to kind of bring it back down um, yeah you probably could sand it you know I didn't try it uh, to do that I didn't want to go too deep um, but you know the, the process is simple so I mean if, if you did you could just you know repeat your steps you know put a little bit of paint on uh, and then go back and and put the stain on making sure that you're careful and blending out any anywhere that you're overlapping like I'm doing here 
you know, I had a little mist spot kind of in the corner there. Um, I put a little dab of stain, blend it out. And you can see we're, how different it is from when I started and pretty darn close on color. So once I went ahead and put the finish on it, I get the sheen um, to match the, the cabinets that she had and I think it turned out pretty good. That's it for me. Make sure you like and subscribe and we'll see you next time.